today on the Roach Coach Podcast. This week, it's all about who's tweeting. Who's tweeting? Louisville loves new metal. Coming back. Hey, it's Cody from uh, American... Overdose? Yes. You forget the name of your own band, Cody? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Roach, Roach Coach. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Roach Coach Podcast, the journey to create the new metal canon. My name is Lauren Kozlowski. With me, as always, the original Roach Rider, Mr. Matt Nas. Keep it rolling, baby. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, back with you back for another episode of Roach Coach, creating this new metal canon one album at a time. This week, it's all about who's tweeting. Who's tweeting? That's right. We're going over your feedback, your questions, your roach recommendations, new news. New news. So much more. Matt, start, starting things off. Yeah, we got to talk about us, baby. we got to talk about the coach. Oh, uh, I love talking got, about the coach. Got to talk about the coach because we got to talk about that Patreon, man. We got to do it. Listen, all these other podcasts are telling us like, hey, man. You guys go in there, you just start talking about chopping off dicks, you start talking about all the, you just start doing your bits, but you got to promo, son, you got to do promo. And I was like, thank you, sweaty podcaster, I will do this. <laughs> and so we're doing it now, we're talking about the Patreon, there's so much going on in the Patreon, you can go over, you can vote on what we're going to be doing on new episodes, you can go in and say hello to other patrons, and most importantly, you can get in on the Pact, our exclusive sure series going on on the patreon episode two is now live it's incredible it's with jenny it's for the album through being cool by saves the day i can say that there are there is one moment in this episode that might be the funniest thing that's ever happened that we've ever done together i i was doing the edit and i was like this is the funniest fucking thing it's It's up there it's it is up there really up there it's a very special episode very fun uh so i hope everyone uh you know takes some time join the patreon checks out those great episodes uh as we record this we are ramping up to record episode three yeah buddy on friday which is very exciting as well so i mean yeah we have so much coming up so uh, head on over to the patreon patreon.com slash roach coach podcast and uh become a patron and get in on the pact um matt let's dig into it buddy it's 2024 and you know we've got fests coming back we have bands hitting the road again for the first time in a while been talking about it loserville 2024 excited limp Limp biscuit we're gonna be there we're doing turning it into a roach coach meetup you know head over to pine knob get some team fries and say hi to the coach because we're all gonna be there baby we're gonna be posted up and um But not only that, but taking it real local for me for a minute, Louisville loves new metal. Coming back. Buddy, you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. No date announced yet. All they're saying is soon. It's coming soon. It's going to happen. And so they they started a brand new Instagram called We Love. uh, We Love New Metal. Great name. And um, and they're already going out and saying, "Hey, everybody! If you came to the first one, you knew you know what songs we did. What songs do we got to do again for part two? What did we not do the first time that we definitely need to do this time? Uh, now, I did not, you know, first time I went, I sort of just soaked it in, didn't take down everything that they had done. They posted a partial set list up on the Instagram, uh, what they had done, and you know, asking like, you know, what do they need to bring back and what have you. And then they said in the comments, you know, like, what do we need to do? What do we need to do more of? Uh, overwhelmingly, a lot of people are like, corn, you got to do more corn. Didn't do enough corn. Got to do more corn, which fair enough. But fair also enough. new metal night, new metal night. Yeah. But also, listen, it's it's tough. It's tough because for one, OK, bagpipes. You've, got, you've got bagpipe situation. That's tough. But then you also you've got to be able to find someone who can duplicate the vocals of one jonathan davis that's a you tough might job. need two vocalists to do the vocals of jonathan davis. you might but then matt i don't know if you know about this i don't know about it so corn's got two guitarists okay oh wait 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 wait. i've heard this i've heard about yes yeah. yeah. they have two guitarists and both of their guitars have they don't have six strings they have oh, seven no. they have seven strings 
seven string guitars. I, 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 this okay. is cre- this creates what some call the corn signature signature sound. sound. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know yes. what I'm talking about. So when you are being tasked with making a new metal night, and somebody said, "Hey, you got to do more corn," you've got to find seven string guitars, two of them, and then you've got to find some motherfuckers that know how to play them. Yeah. Because listen, you got some guy, and he's like, "Yeah, I play guitar." Play guitar all the time by the campfire. Hand him a seven string. Hand him that extra string. Brain can't do it. Doesn't know what to do with himself. He's like, I don't fucking know, man. I just play Ryan Adams songs. I don't know. And you're like, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here with that get Ryan, Ryan Adams. Adams. Get out of here. So you got to find somebody who can handle them seven strings. I do agree with those people though that definitely want to up your corn quotient. Thinking about other songs that they could do that they hadn't done before. Okay. I'm thinking, I and this is just for me, so I'm just speaking for me. And some people say, Lauren, this doesn't seem realistic. Maybe people won't be as excited. This is for me, okay? Okay. Dropping plates. I think you should do it. <laughs> it would be great for me. It would be. It would be very fun. Um, I also feel like faint you should do faint now faint's another tough one because you're talking about the mr han of it all Mm -hmm. you know you're talking about you know there's some synthesizer action going on in there also rapper singer they gotta they gotta sing like chester you know true you gotta find you gotta find a guy you gotta find who can spit like shinoda and scream like chester i'm gonna be honest with you tough ask it's a tough ask, but I think I think the Shinoda part's not too hard. I think you can find some Shinodas. Uh, the Chester part's a much harder part of that. Way, you way, know, way. Way. Um, also, when you do that, you need to make one of the guitarists wear the big headphones. Yes, please. Got to do that. Essential. All right? Got to do that. Um, other things to consider. Um, they did Papa Roach Last Resort last time. So, I would say... Once again, speaking for me, um, do do some songs off Love Hate Tragedy. You know what? Why not? Do the M80 explosive energy movements, the Blue Mountain Dew song. Do it for me. That'd be great. Once again, people will be like, is this the Blue Mountain Dew song? And you can go, yes. Yes, it is. Um, you know what? I... Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. M80 explosive energy movement. That's the opening song. Time and time again is the Blue uh, Mountain Dew song. All right. I know everyone's like typing away. Lauren, I got it. I caught it. I fixed it. Matt, what are you thinking? What do you think needs to be heard a new metal night to? Um, I believe that they should play Awake by Godsmack. Ooh. Because that's the one that's in that Navy commercial, right? Sure is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. I like that. I Coming like that. Up- Coming off of our monster truck talk, mm-hmm. boom, yep, Ooh. pod boom, Matt. I just want to say something to you real quick. Get you hype, right? Get you hyped. I was excited, <laughs> right? I'm that. just humming it with my mouth. I'm just humming it with my mouth. Funny. Imagine a guitar doing that. So one of the side projects that I'm doing right now um, is Bill Eisner photography. Yeah, he's like a Detroit photographer who has 60 years kind of chronicling fire departments and um, doing photo photo photojournalism he was a tiger photographer for 50 years he has a lot of things but his primary focus was on uh, the fire departments of metro detroit primarily detroit and because of that we're on instagram we're on facebook we get followed by other firefighting photographers Mm -hmm. so I'll go through his feed and um, there's in firefighting there. There's a lot of different trucks. One of them is called an aerial truck. It's got a tiller aerial. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'll have a driver and then I'll have a tiller and a tillerman set up his camera. And sh- so you could see the whole, it's like, you see the truck just moving mm-hmm. and him steering the back of it. You know what song was playing? What song? Boom. By that P-O-T. is that- I love it. I love like, it. I almost sent it to you, but I would have been like, 
it's coming from Bill Eisner's account. <laughs> That'd be really weird. I'd be like, what's going on here? Um, no, yeah. So POD boom, absolutely have to do it. Um, machine head from this day. Mm. That one, I think, is is the someone call it the lost classic of new metal. I definitely think to do that. Um Slipknot, pretty well represented. They did psychosocial and duality, but I think for this next one, I think you do surfacing, okay? Mm. I think you do surfacing, okay? And I say that only because last I checked, it's our new national anthem. That is true. I hear it before every baseball game I go to. I take my hat off because I hear that in sirens. <laughs> Yep. So yeah. So surfacing definitely one to think about. Matt. They did bodies, right? Yeah, you better fucking believe. You it better bodies. believe that they, yeah, did yeah, yeah. they did bodies. I I would love to hear "Wait and Bleed" from Slipknot, like mm. because it's just I feel mm. like it's the most doable song from the first record. Mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, <laughs> sick would be unbelievable, but mm. it's like <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be something. Um, I would say. You're gonna do stained. Yeah. Obviously, the first time they did outside, they did it's been a while. Right. No. Mud shovel. Mud shovel. Mud, Mud shovel. shovel. Yeah. Mud shovel. You got it. You gotta do it. And you might be saying, I don't know if I have the level of cookery that one Mike Mushak has. Correct. Listen. I, I am not in the kitchen right now. You're not listen. You just got to keep practicing. Find the axe men that you believe can do it. Crack a window. Let them cook. See what they can do. Uh, and I think my last recommendation would be, you know what? Let's get goofy. Let's get goofy. Methods of mayhem. Get naked. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Hmm. People, people would, yeah. Those those are my. You do need yeah uh -huh. because the the thing that's a little bit hard is it can get a little dour. So you got to mm. make sure that you're throwing in a little bit of that party music. You gotta. You have to. You've got to throw make a sure bit. that you're having the fun in there because mm -hmm. yeah, wasn't all just the saddest stuff you've ever it's, heard. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You've got to. Yeah. You've got to bring it up to to compensate for the down. So yeah. Um. I mean, what do we have? Another fun one. That could we could throw in there? Well, I mean, you've got if the if you if they hadn't done it, if you did Crazy Town Butterfly, mm, even true. though it's not a super new metal song, it's adjacent enough and of the time enough that that would be really good, yeah, really fun to mm -hmm. do. I mean, also like I, I, they did Pod Alive, but like even another Pod song mm -hmm. would be. <laughs> like, right mm -hmm. like they're they're a lot more fun right oh you know what they should also do they should do deaf tones be quiet and drive mm. that would yeah. be a good one mm -hmm. yeah and if they had someone with the skills to do like a song like head up or die of the flu honestly that that's tough that's tough if you if they did head up and they did it really good. Roof gone. It's gone. It's out of there. Yeah. Dunzo. Torn off. Torn off. Torn off. Uh, so those are off the cuff. Uh, Louisville loves new metal suggests. And um, you know, you can head over to We Love New Metal Instagram and put your suggestions in the comments. And then I would say also, you know what? Keep your eyes peeled for when they announce this date. Um, I'm going to be there. I'm already lining up a sitter. Um, and, uh, the moment that it's announced, I, I got my sitters on speed dial. I was like, listen, watch my child. I have to go watch new metal cover bands. Um, and then Matt, you and Jenny had thrown around the idea, maybe we, hopping in the van. Yeah, we definitely threw it around. I don't, I don't, it just depends on when it is. Mm -hmm, right. Okay. You know, like that, that's really. Listen, that's really what it comes down to right yeah i'd say yeah you know if the, if it works out you know get in the van head on down you know you can bunk at my place or it's in louisville i'm sure ashley would just let you bunk in i'm just volunteering her home right now i haven't checked in with her on this <laughs> you know what i want to add to the list 
right back head pe bartender boom there it is you've just got a perfect party rental yep. absolutely there you go those are our suggestions uh take them or leave them please take them please take them all right matt this is a brand new segment i'm super excited for it i've been excited about it since i saw this it's called to me watch to me watch this is like the fourth episode in a row where we've mentioned our good friend josh to me i love to talk about him he's a fun person to talk about and the reason we're talking about him in this new segment called to me watch is that one dino a fear factory took to facebook.com and he said looking for a pro basis to fill in for tony campos whenever he's on tour with static x please read the requirements and follow the instructions don't waste my time must haves let's run them down matt what's the first must have plays with a pick no fingers okay i'm out all right matt's out he's strictly uh strictly a finger guy to me no he says strictly a pick guy Stri- no i'm saying but you are a finger oh i'm a finger yeah i'm a finger yeah. stylist yeah to me a play with a pick he'll do it number two matt touring experience i'm also out <laughs> you're <laughs> also out again yeah to me in he's toured He's toured with bands all over. Toomey's in. Okay, that's two for Toomey. Uh, number three. Up-to-date passport. Toomey, if my memory serves me correct, works for the post office, which is where you get your passports from. Right. He's he probably, yeah. He's got probably it gonna, locked up. It's yeah, got it set up. sewn up, baby. There it is. Yeah. All right. What's four? No criminal record. Josh Toomey is an angel. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. No problems there. No problems there. I just love the idea of him doing whatever he's doing and hearing this. And we're like, Josh, you're a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Uh, number, number five, five is my favorite. No hard drugs. <laughs> Our good boy, Josh Timmy, would not be doing hard drugs. He's <laughs> not doing any hard drugs. No. No way. He's not going to choose that moment to flick the switch. Is like, you know what? I, I they used to call me Mr. 420, but now I'm Mr. Coke on the road. You know what? Uh, I could just you know, Toomey's just being like, you know what? 2024 is my angel dust year. You know, <laughs> I want to get wet. I gotta get wet. I gotta get wet. Go me. I gotta Ooh. get wet. Yeah. All right, number six. Not an alcoholic, but must be able to walk a straight line after a bottle of tequila, because Tony can do it. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. A lot going on there. You basically, you just got to be able to hang with the boys. All right. Right. Yeah. You're not a fucking square. Exactly. Because after a night of rocking with Fear Factory, dropping some edge crusher bass lines on the fucking packed house, and then you go in the back, and Dino's like, let's do a shot. And you're like, I'm no, gonna, thank you. I'm just gonna stick with my smart water. You getting left at the rest stop, son? Forget right. about it. Nope. You gotta be hang. You gotta hang with the band. You gotta be able. You gotta be a good hang. You gotta be a good hang. And you know what, Josh Toomey? Good hang. Good hang. Weed hang. It's great hang. All right, number seven. Plays well with others. Good hang. This good is hang. Basically, just, this is a classic. Like we said it. We're gonna be spending a shit ton of time together, so you better yeah. be a good hang. Absolutely. All right. What's next? Number eight, five string bass. Josh Toomey's bass situation, mm-hmm. four strings, no. five strings, six strings, seven strings. However many strings you need, Josh Toomey will make it happen. Okay? All right? No, I've never seen Josh play a five string. I think I've seen a picture of him with a Thunderbird, and I, that's a four string. Uh-huh. But he might have one. I mean, he might have a Dean Markley laying around. He might. He, he might, might have he might have a, a good old fashioned oh, what is that called? Uh, uh he just I'm trying to think like those obnoxious faces. He might have an ESP somewhere around. He there. might, you never know. I believe that's not a problem. Not a problem. All right. Number nine. In ear monitors required for click track. Listen, okay. if he doesn't have them, eBay, Amazon.com, he's got it. In your no. monitor, no problem. No problem. Number 10, USA residents preferred. Of course. 
Born and bred, baby, USA. USA. Hey, USA. Hey, is where Toomey lives in the USA. USA. All right, perfect. Uh, number eleven. Post a video performing fuel injected suicide machine. If he needs someone to hold the camera, I'm right here, baby. I'm right here. All right. Because number twelve, ego is not your amigo. Mm-hmm. Listen, Josh Toomey. Once again, it goes back. He's a good hang. Sweet hand. hang. Listen, this is a guy who's talking to everybody on the Talk To Me podcast, on the new pod. You know what? He could talk to anybody. And you've got and and you have to have a great uh level of ego and uh friendliness and familiarity in order to do it. Yes. This is for our good friend, Josh Toomey. Yes. This is well trod ground. Mm -hmm. He came in to an established band he to did. be their touring bassist. He knows what this is about. He knows what to do here. This isn't like, oh, I was, you know, we were, I was in a band and we toured forever. He's like, I came in, I was in bands, but I came in to an established act mm -hmm. and I was a good hang. Was like, That's, That's right. <laughs> he was, he was. All right, based off this, uh, based off these 12 requirements, and this, oh yeah, he finally closes with serious inquiries only. Only. And let me tell you, we are serious as a GD heart attack. Josh Toomey's your guy. All yeah, right? He's your boy. Listen, I looked at all this. I said, I can't think of another bassist. Um, I can't. <laughs> well, I can't. I can't. Do you I can't. That's what I'm saying. I can't think of any other basis. Literally can't think of any. I other can't basis. think of any other basis. All the basis I've ever thought of. Honestly, the only other basis I could think of, Chris Novoselic. And I don't think he wants to do it right now. I think he's no, busy. I think he's kind of like, yeah, probably never going to play bass again. <laughs> I think he's set for life. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think Josh Toomey should definitely be the new touring bassist for Fear Factory. Um, and when Tony's uh, on tour. With yeah, Static absolutely. X. With Static X. Absolutely. So. I look forward to Josh Toomey updates from the road. Um, glad we were that helpful. Old road dog. Hey, there's no greater road dog than Josh Toomey. All right. All right, Matt. Yeah, buddy. Let's talk about one of our favorite segments. Who's in those DMs? Sliding up in. James Graham sent us a DM and he said, love the latest episode about how the headliners change when they get to the UK. A huge example of that is UK new metal royalty Skindred. Their latest album posted at number two in the UK album charts. And me and my wife are going to see them in Manchester next week with POD supporting first new gig in like 20 years. Don't get me wrong. I'm more excited to see the Southtown boys ripping it up. But it did make me think, where do Skindred billboard in the US? Also, you need to long list more albums by those guys. Set phasers and rat trap are rippers. Keep them coming with love from the UK. P.S. Erotic Kiss incoming. Yes. Thank, thank you, James. Need more Erotic Kiss reviews. Much appreciated. Um, I don't know how Skindred chart in the United States, but it is well established that over there in the UK, they are new metal gods. And oh, yeah. it makes sense that, yeah, when P.O.D., flies over there and we know what plane they took because they posted a picture of it in their promo uh that uh yeah pod is gonna yeah they're they're gonna open they're gonna set the stage for skindred just makes sense to me um skindred are from wales don't ask me where that is in the uk but that's where they're at we just know it's off of the major island don't, don't do it man don't, don't, don't know don't do, it. don't do it man oh, i've don't. opened it again oh don't do it they're man their I own thing they're, they're their own thing they're their own thing um thank you though yeah you know what we probably should do more skin on the show those boys those boys do they, they're rippers set yep. phasers rat trap those are rippers uh thank you james much appreciated and thank you for the incoming erotic kiss uh jeremy k or jeremy key sent us a message saying uh just wanted to say you guys are still killing it and the pod continues to get better and better i also wanted to throw a quick recommendation out to listen to have you have to check the new terabyte song called ebt it's a banger uh thank you jeremy that's incredibly kind i will say that uh, lauren and i have had not heated discussions but uh, we are talking more and more about raising the quality of the coach i think that's fair to say i, I think, think so i don't think no, i'm talking out of no. school here no, no um because it is sellout season and we just gotta make all the money we fucking can from this Matt, thing. 
all I can think about every time we do an episode, I was just like, is that the best we can do? Have we talked enough about cutting off dicks? Have we, <laughs> have we done enough bits with 16 year old rapper characters who live in basements? Do we need new characters? Do we need new bits? Can we keep, you know, what do we right. have to do to just keep things fresh, keep things how going? Do, how do we get new les- listeners in? Oh, I know. Let me make up two references to things that happened 75 to 85 episodes ago. That's what the people love. They love a deep cut. They love, they the, love, lore. Cut. They love the lore. Oh, you yeah. know? They love yeah. the lore. In this, in this day and age of scrolling past a reel in one second that didn't grab your attention, people love being stuck steeped in lore they love lore um but thank you yeah jeremy thank you so much so much appreciated yeah you want to hear the song i gotta hear this song apparently it's a banger all right let me get this set up the song is called ebt by terror terror bite what a great name good name thanks for watching this episode of roach coach on youtube unfortunately we do not play the music here on youtube because we want to avoid those sweet sweet copyright strikes but you can check out in the description we have the links to the podcast itself which includes all the clips from the music that we hear and back to the show (laughs) (laughs) buddy Uh, buddy uh matt Uh, (laughs) let's go back to jeremy for a minute um jeremy It's so funny that you said the song was a banger and you undersold it. Um, We're talking about shit. Let's see some of my favorite parts. Um, Putting your whole family in a body body bag. Then saying. (laughs) That means at this point, they're parts. Yes. They're all gone. (laughs) And then, and then saying, you ever see a ghost? I'm about to make you be a ghost. (laughs) Well, you're about to be one if you've never seen one i'm gonna make you a ghost holy shit uh i will Matt, tell you uh Matt, come on w- when is this song from is this from this year is this an old song is this somehow a song that like okay. i don't know how d- tell me did this song whatever year the song it won like song of the year at the grammys right like what oh, i mean sh- it, it had to it sure. had to Sure, sure did. <laughs> it is their latest single. It is f- from this year. This year. It's from okay. This year. It's all right. Twenty four. All right, Matt. I'm saying it right now. This is the song to beat. This is the song to beat for 2024. This is it. This is the bar has been set. You know, and what? you I, top EBT. This is I. This cover. We just a guy in a in a store with a gun wow oh my god oh my god (laughs) uh is this from an album is this just a single right now this is truly just a single terabyte terabyte i need an album i need an album and then i need you to call up unity tx and say right boys dude it's, it's terabyte it's time this, for us to get on the road and rip shit up. Unity TX and the and the Kings. Is that legal, Matt? Is that legal? You know what? It doesn't matter. It sounds like Terabyte doesn't have time for our laws. Jeremy, um, you did you did the damn thing. You did the damn thing on that one. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Uh, next up, we received a message from Cody Perez. He said, hello, if you like the music, like Slipknot. Oh, sorry. Hello, new friend. If you like music like Slipknot, Mudvayne, Rob Zombie, Motionless and White, Static X, etc. Please check out my band, American Overdose. We are a new metal industrial band from Portland, Oregon. Okay. We have a new single called Bleed. And uh, he also said that he loves our podcast and album reviews. He says, any shows that are keeping new metal alive, he loves two metal hand emojis. Cody, thank you so much for supporting the show and being a fan. And thank you also for making them music and doing that damn thing. Um, Matt, yeah, let's, let's take let's, a listen. Let's take a listen to Bleed. Oh, man. Oh, man. When, when we're talking about bleeding, you're bleeding me. I'm in, man. I'm I know in. you are, buddy. I'm in. 
listen, if you're sitting there and you are at some sort of songwriter workshop and somebody's like, I have this idea and it's about, you know, deep seated emotions deep inside. I'm trying to get them out. You just Mm -hmm. have to reach across the table, stab them in the hand with your pencil, point at the wound and say, there's your song. You're going to get kicked out, okay? And you That's may be charged right with the song. But I'm telling you, it's a step in the right direction to make that song about bleeding. Uh, yeah. I felt, I felt like the description's right in the pocket. Yeah. Got that Got that Rob Zombie feel, mm-hmm. but that chorus is fucking mm-hmm. legit. In the like, pocket. In, the, in pocket. the pocket. Way in the pocket. Way in the pocket. Um, I would say... Um, Get 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 on a tour with Motionless and White. I think this is exactly right in there. You know, I'm sure that's an easy call. Just ring easy. ring. Chris Motionless. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yep. Hi. Cody Perez here. Just hey, yeah, Cody. Like, yeah. What's up? What's going you on? Heard American Overdose yet? I haven't. Can you d- Dropbox me? Here's bleed. Boom. Oh, oh hold Love on. Open. Okay, hold on. Wait. I don't think I have Dropbox on this computer. Wait a second. Stay on the line, Cody. Why are you making this more difficult than it is? i Dropbox. Okay. Yes. All right. Send it again. Send Here we send it Okay. Again. There you go. All send right. It. Okay. I have it. I have it in my. I don't have enough space. Hold on. Let me move some stuff. Uh, yep. Greg Motionless has put a lot in this Dropbox. Hold on. Let me get it out of here. I'm just gonna All right. Here and get that out of there. All right. Okay. Send it to me again, Cody. Okay. Send it to me again. All there right. Go. And sent. Got it. All right. Perfect. All right. Let me. Uh, let me see here. Um. I'm gonna. You sent me a wave. Um, let me yep. see. Do I, what do I have on this computer that play a wave? Can I have any? And nearly anything. It's probably what, the most will common. It? Yeah. Listen, I'm just the singer. All right. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the <laughs> singer. All right. You know, I'm sure Chris Motionless knows how to use a computer. Either way, in I, this instance, no, he does not. No, no. Anything. In this, in this bit, <laughs> he is using a very old Dell. Not only that, but he doesn't know how to. He's got home so much shit in his Dropbox. Get to clean out your Dropbox for Motionless. What's your problem? Um, yeah, Cody, that was great stuff. Thank you so much for sending it over. Uh, keep us posted on what's going on with American Overdose. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear more. I like it. Um, we got a DM, Matt, from Garbage Stock Art. Love this. Okay. Please, yeah, Matt. Since I'm currently wearing a Roach Coach t-shirt to a KMFDM show to see if I can attract any people who are specifically NOS heads. There it is. Uh, just the idea that we could ever get to a level where you could connect with other people who are NOS heads. Matt, it's, don't ask if, ask when. <laughs> it's a when, not an if. I Nas mean, heads, Nas heads are coming. Listen, Nas heads, they're out there. Listen, when I talk to people about the show, and this is, listen, I love both spoke up your ass, man. But literally, I will talk to people about the show and they'll go, "That man Nas is so funny." And I was like, "I know, <laughs> ah, I know, get out, I of know, here. get out of here." I know. I mean, as, as many people pointed out, you created both Funky Ken and <laughs> Charles Mansion. Okay. We did it together. It was a team. Effort. We did. We did. I had to flub something and then you had to jump on it. So yeah. Um, but as um, is my want. Yeah. Yeah, that is very sweet. Nos yeah. heads. I thought I would just drop y'all a line to ask if 311 on Tiny Desk is in the new metal canon. Thanks. Big fan. All right, Matt. So uh, buddy. Okay, so, so I saw this this week. So this dropped, I want to say on tuesday so that would have been march 11th that's correct on 311 day on 311 day that yeah, actually i believe it was a monday i believe my 311 day was a monday oh it's um, wednesday you're right yeah so um that was yeah so it was like a week and a half ago now as this episode goes up um i was sent this video not just on the roach coach page but on my personal page <laughs> by some people that i consider friends uh, including one travis pelto um, who famously told us to do 311 on the show may, way back in the day. And then after I told him that we did, he said, I was just kidding. <laughs> um, he was not kidding when he sent me this uh, Tiny Desk concert. Um, I'm not going to lie. I hit play. I hit play on that fucker. Mm. And um, immediately 
the sounds of those guitars because don't worry they didn't acoustic it up no 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 no. they they brought the amps they meddled it up and i would say the guitars sounded a little bit like if you um if you got some leftovers from grandma's house maybe and they're in your fridge and you decide to take them out and then take that foil and peel it off them leftovers that crinkling metal so just take that crinkled metal that soggy wet condensation covered foil and crinkle it up next to your ear real close that's what that sounded like and then they started singing (laughs) and i said no not me nick hexum started to do nick hexum things and you were like i think he was saying beautiful disaster and i was said one yeah, that was a, that's what they oh, kicked off with. I said, I said, one of those words is right. And I was out of there. I was out of there. And um, I want to say that after I saw that, because Travis Pelton was the first person to send it to me. And then uh, more people who were sending it on the Roach Coach page. Other people were asking me if I was aware of this. And so, you know, I just kept it on mute and I didn't dive in any further. Uh, a few people said that they did watch the whole thing and it was very tough. And then a few people said that that are 311 fans that, uh, that it was beautiful and they loved it more for them for me right. for me how dare you right um but yeah you're 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 giving your 311 back so that you're, everybody who likes 311 can absolutely. have absolutely yes your share yes exactly listen there are there are certain anniversaries and things in my life that you know when i knew they were coming up i was like a little you know dreading them a little bit 311 day is now joining that um now i'm apparently looking at the i i'm today this week really hit me that like next year i'm just gonna be like i'm gonna see i'm gonna look at my calendar i'm gonna see march 10th and i'm gonna go tomorrow's gonna fucking suck (laughs) i can feel it i can feel it so oh i've got a burning hot take about uh 311 what uh, is that matt it was okay i was like it wasn't great (laughs) it was fine (laughs) okay all right yeah, what an, another scorcher from nos oh one of those nas hot takes that keeps him keeps the streets you know, talking so he was talking i will say that there was a moment where the band was playing where i was like i don't know the last time i've seen a rock band like this play though where i was like in that sense it was interesting then i was like like this is a full ahead guitar band on tiny desk you know, like that isn't an indie rock band, you know, or, you know, kind of playing into those tropes. Like this is a pretty, at this point, a nostalgia act, but like still an act that's playing straight ahead rock. And in that sense, I was like, well, that's cool. But it also felt in that same breath dated. Like when Juvenile did it, I it felt. It was amazing. It felt like fresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When 311 did it, it, they were as tight as they have ever been as a band, but I didn't feel like there was new life being breathed into the 311 machine. It was just another representation of what the 311 machine does. Right. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I didn't feel like people were coming out of it going like, 311 found some new fans. No, I don't think that happened. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't think yeah. that happened. Um, I guess thank you, people who sent that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Matt, finally, um, you have said in the past that your least favorite segment on the show is Who's Festing. Correct. We have finally found a fest that is just for you, courtesy of J- uh, Chad Radical. Uh, he sent us uh, an Instagram post from Salad Days. Um, yeah. And it's, uh, it's for, uh, sadly, it was last year, um, but it's a uh, Jizz Fest 23. <laughs> Um, this was a spray painted on the side of a mail truck and, um, yeah, as it's presented by corn parentheses, the band. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I think Matt, honestly, one band, just corn, just corn. And they're playing jizz fest and you love jizz. So I'm a huge, everybody knows that everybody knows know. this. Everybody knows this. When you have your birthday half the posts on your Facebook page are people referencing jizz, you know, and they're just like, that's what he loves, you know, 
you have um you receive jizz related trinkets all the time people just love they, they know you love oh, yeah. jizz so, I'm yeah. like, I, I, that's what people know about me they know that i love jizz <laughs> uh, uh, there it uh, is it's beautiful um so chad thank you so much for sending that to us uh too bad that we missed it last year i guess keep us posted for jizz uh for jizz fest 24 what a um, bummer why did i you know I can't believe you I missed it. Says twenty three. Love it says corn. <laughs> Listen, Jizz. Here's the thing about Jizz Fest. Okay, unlike other festivals, they want to make sure that you have total clarity on who's going to be there. All right? right, you know, and you don't have to worry about. I mean, here's the thing: they did the backwards R. You know, they did the work. Yeah, they, they did really the did. They did, and um, and honestly, I feel like you get head and corn. Uh, head, get head and a uh, monkey in a room. And say, do you guys want to play Jizz Fest? And they'd be like, we'll check with Jonathan, but he should be fine. He should, so he, yeah. he's he's a big Jizz Fest guy. He's a big Jizz Fest guy. You know, should be no problem. Um, yeah. So, Love and it. then honestly, honestly, you know what? Going back to Cody, American Overdose. Mm-hmm. I think they should look into opening for Corn at Jizz Fest twenty four. I agree. You know what? I think what you need to do though. Is that they should, Cody? You should call Brian Head Welch and have him listen to the song "Bleed," um, which I mean, I think we go a little bit like this. Uh, hi, this is Brian. Uh, hey, it's Cody from uh, American Overdose. Yes, <laughs> you forget the name of your own band, Cody. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a, listen, me, Brian Head Welch. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the band. I'm a big fan. I like the stuff. Do you have any new stuff that I could check out? Oh hell yeah! I got a new song called Bleed. Oh cool. Can you? Oh man, can you Dropbox that for me? Yeah, yeah. All right, I can yeah. Do that. Just send it to my Dropbox real quick. Could you? Yeah. Could you? Here All it right. comes. All right. Uh, oh shit. Hold on. Oh man monkey just filled this thing up oh my god there's so much stuff in here uh all these pictures of his beautiful wife hold on let me get these out of here all right okay i cleared it out okay send it to me again the dropbox just send yeah. it over and here okay. you go oh thank you okay perfect all right all right you sent it as a flack uh what can i play a flack in? i mean it there's a uh, flack player that you can download player yes oh, oh my god on a computer yes Oh my god. Now flack is that like flap? Like a bird's wings? No, it it stands for flow, fully lossless audio compression. This is news to me. Oh my goodness. Okay, I might have to download that. Hold on. Let me pull up Kazaa real quick. Okay. Uh, that's how I download everything is off of Kazaa. So let me just get in here real quick. Type Your computer must be riddled with with viruses oh no i got a virus protector every time i download anything it does a scan and it checks on everything oh, it goes, okay it checks on to make sure it keeps me safe so let me just do it real quick okay um all right let's see what it's what's because i got for me flack a doodle dandy no that doesn't sound right uh flack a doodle dandy i don't know what it is but it's an mp3 um ooh, what's this one corn plays weezer that, i don't know about that let me download that let me check that out Okay. All right. Ooh, that's a virus. Uh -oh. That's a virus. Yep. Uh oh. Uh, it up. Uh, I think it's eating my computer. Hold on, C Cody. I'm I'm gonna have to call you back, Cody. All no right. problem. Okay. So that's what that would be like. But I think uh, <laughs> I think that's something to check out there as well. Um. And yeah, I think honestly, yeah, I think Just Fest 24 is gonna be a success. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. I I, I don't want to blow your mind, but there's only one way to close out an episode of Roach Coach. Oh, how's that? It's with Vandals Can't Handles Part 2. The Rise of the Roach. Matt, we have only two songs left. Can you believe it? It's incredible. This list is amazing. And I want everybody to know that we have received some new lists. Really? But we're always open to more. Of because course. I have some ideas. I have some list ideas about how to take these lists and keep things even fresher. Because Matt said, as you said earlier, Matt, all about up in the ante. Yeah. Making this show that's already the best show you've ever heard. Absolutely. And taking it to the next level, you know? Um, so, uh, for one, I think if you've got a really good playlist, you should drop box me on it. Uh, just call me up. Yeah, you know, My phone number is 1234567810. Right. And uh, just dial me up. 
and then I'll tell you my Dropbox code, and you can send it over to me. Um, and it may be full of my wedding photos, but I'll just get those out of there. <laughs> I'll just clear that shit out of there, and uh, and and we'll, uh, we'll we'll check out your list, uh, Matt. What do we have this week? Okay, uh, if you noticed my in and out in that last sketch, it was because I was trying to get this lined up. The name of the band is Stray from the Path. Yes. The name of the album is Internal Atomics. Mm -hmm. And the name of today's song is The First Will Be Last. Here we go. Wowzers. Wowzers. Uh, Matt, we have actually done Stray from the Path on the show before. Uh, yes, we did one of their you. songs on uh, new metal songs uh, by non-new metal artists. Um, they were incredible then. They're, They're incredible, incredible now. now. They're incredible. They've never stopped being incredible. Um, I actually do own this album on CD. And um, so this was not this one was not a surprise for me, but it's uh it's it's a pleasant, it's a pleasant listen either way, because these right. boys know how to rip it up. Absolutely. Um but let's let's talk about uh let's talk about the secret sauce on this one, Matt. Cause uh who these boys have behind the boards. Do we know who they have behind the boards? Oh well, if you're mentioning it. Then it makes me think that it's the man of fire, Mr. Will That's Putney. Right. That's right. Will Putney behind the boards on this one. Listen, when Stray from the Path have to make a new record, they get on the phone and they dial his phone number, <laughs> which I'm going to give out right now. It's 9876-54321. Okay. Oh, good phone number. They dial that number and um, it actually goes a little bit like this. Uh, hi, Will Putney. Uh, hey, it's uh, Straight From The Path. Oh, uh, what's up, man? What's going on? Oh, well, we're, we want to work on a new album called Ooh. Internal Atomics. I love the great name, good name. I think I can get behind the boards. I can really make it. Do you have any demos you can send me? Yeah, I have the um, kind of a first path first pass at a song called The First Will Be Last. Ooh, I like that. T tell you what, put it in my Dropbox. You know, uh, we don't do that anymore. No? No. No, we've we got a call from one of our friends. <laughs> He's in a band called American Overdose. Oh yeah, yeah. Good You're band. Been having Good the worst time with Dropbox. Oh no. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. So, okay. All right. Um we, so uh, we we will just play it on a phone oh. uh, over the Oh, the over phone. the oh, over the phone? Love it. You know what? I miss it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. You in? I'm in. I'm in. That's how you deal with the man of fire. There you go. Talk to you later. Click. Um, beautiful. Um, yeah, this was great. It was a ripper. Yeah, uh straight on. from the path. They did the damn thing. Um love it. And uh that means that we have one song left. Wow. One Holy shit. Left. Unbelievable. Uh Eric Vandal. Uh, once again, you did it again, and uh, truly appreciate it. And believe it or not, that brings us to the end of another episode of Roach Coach. We did it. We did it. Thank you so much for listening. Keep on saying hello to us online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, if it still exists, and YouTube. We're on all of those. Uh, send us an email, roachcoachpodcast at gmail.com. Um, and, uh, we do not have a public Dropbox. So don't no worry way. about that. No, no, no. And, um, and, uh, yeah, check out episodes of the pact, uh, every month on, uh, patreon.com slash roach coach podcast. Um, and until next time, Matt, thank you. Lauren, thank you. Roach, Roach Rider. And in the Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Roach, Roach Coach. Podcast. Hot all day. Every day. It is the Roach Coach. Podcast. All day. All day. Every day.